so today what I'm going to talk about is what is the best thing for people with disabilities to get out there in the in the world and in the community and just interact with anybody uh with like make friends and do certain stuff which is kind of okay right now but we're getting back to that so there's this Nonprofit organization NOC that takes that's in Canada and Washington State, uh, US. Three big trips a year, one's out of state or out of the country or whatever. Um, it's 18 to 35 year olds and we group them up with groups and figure out what they're what they would be good at, at like what different trips and there's also day trips it's really fun I've been part of it for a couple of years now um, got into it um, the um, one that actually created it, the two people, Zach and Andrew, are really nice. They're amazing to be around. It's just a social time, because as you know, when you have a disability or advantage, you can do things, but it's hard at times to get things across, to go places. And after, usually a certain age day camps and overnight camps are usually around like 15 14 to 15 ends this is a great opportunity for you guys to get involved with that being camp without borders um we do everything's paid for through fundraisers uh so there's that the participants don't need to pay for anything they just need to figure out what trip sign up for and they just go um there could be a house meeting if you want to just so they can get an idea of what physically what you're into and what not like a one-on-one -on -one. um and to spread the word is good because we need to bring this into full force capability with the world it's one united one life you can get it right you know what I mean so this is kind of the point of the video it's just great program for 18 to 35 year olds with disabilities any type of disability that you could think of that's kind of like any in anything D doesn't matter how I got into it was a case manager a long time ago thought I would be great for it and of course I was and I just knew that once I talked to Zach the person who came to see me see what I was talking about what my interests are I was all on board that was like a year ago to 2020 um, right now we're trying to get back into more things which slowly but it's just a continuation of what should be 
on board with Camp Without Borders. I mean, Canada was fun. That's why, that was my, that's why I'm wearing this hat. That was my first trip. Um, we are always welcome new comers that are interested. Um, and it's amazing. You just need to, so what the purpose is to do this is you gotta be 18 to 35 right now. Hopefully they could push the range up to like 39 since it's in the 30s but who who, who knows what the future is going to hold um so it's like you pick up um we g gather dates and stuff and figure out trips they go to see how accessible it is uh beforehand like months and it, it's just great um the right on it we are it is 100 percent fun great exciting once in a lifetime opportunities like for me i would never have the first time that i got in out of the country was with the Victoria trip out of 29 years because I'm 29 right now and it was awesome. Um, meet new friends, meet new people, uh, tell about it in stories. We are trying to move on from doing bigger things to interact like push the message out there that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this um and Andrew tackles things we all meet at once um it's what I thought of was like to do the to make this bigger as things should move on podcast we should talk about podcasting or trying to get, just trying to get the message out there more but that is it that's what quick little like minutes of it maybe hopefully I, I would like to discuss this more on camera with the person that, with the two people that created it and what their dreams, what my thoughts are. So may, maybe a video too, eventually. Um, so yeah, NOC, Camp Without Borders. Mo mo moving on to beyond stuff um push this message and let's get it into it bye like comment and subscribe